Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. For today's video we're going to be creating this fun festival inspired look. So look at my hair, oh my god I'm obsessed. I don't think I have ever styled my hair this well in my entire life. I'm actually completely shocked and look at my dress. <laughs> but today it's all about the makeup so I created this purple with a glittery wing look completely different to my usual style something really fun and fresh obviously festivals are cancelled this year but I'm kind of thinking like we don't have to dress like they have been like let's all just be fun let's go crazy and I mean with our makeup you know still socially distanced so if you want to see the look which I wear right now and how I did it then just keep on watching okay so we're going to be doing something a little bit experimental again today so I'm going to be using the James Charles and Morphe palette today because on okay so I've not at this moment in time I've not actually put up my blue eyeshadow video but I have posted on Instagram and I asked you guys on Instagram what colour look should I do next and a couple of you said purple and I was feeling purple so today we're going to be doing purple. I think I'm going to start, I'm just going to go in with this shade here and then I'm going to go over the top of it with this shimmery colour here and I'm just going to do basically like all over the lid one colour because I want to do like a fun liner type situation so I'm going to go in with that matte shade first. I've never actually used the purples from this palette either, so I'm a little scared. I'm just not naturally, like I am, I do like colour, like I do like colour. But when it comes to doing my own makeup, it's like I will never really do my own makeup colourful every day or to go out or whatever, which is so boring. But I do love colour and when I do colour on other people, I'm always like, that looks really pretty. So in these videos, I'm just gonna try and embrace a bit more colour. Let's kinda go outside of our comfort zone and push ourselves a little bit because, I mean, I think you've seen enough bronze and gold looks for now. You know, they will always be my favourite, but for now, we're just gonna we're gonna like switch it up a little bit. So I'm literally just like going across my whole lid and then blowing it out of the crease as well. Just so we've just got all one shade. That's actually so pretty and it's blended really nicely as well. So how have you all been? What have you been doing? How has the lockdown been for you so far? Because I say so far, we're like just on our way out of it, which I couldn't be happier about to be quite honest not that like I think I'm not like a massive going out person I don't have like this crazy social life but I am a doer like I like to be able to do the stuff I want to do when I want to do it and I go to the gym and obviously I, I like seeing my friends and family so it will be great when things are back to normal and also like with my line of work it's not like oh I'm just gonna have a bit of coffee Oh my god, so needed. With my line of work, with people not going out, like, I have three jobs. Don't ask. Maybe one day, like, if you're really interested, I will talk you through what jobs I have. Um, but one of my jobs is very reliant on people to being able to go places. So the fact that lockdown is easing now is great for me because it means I can actually stop working a little bit more. Reflecting on lockdown, I am actually really glad in a way that it happened. I mean, not really, because obviously it's been horrendous for like so many people, but in terms of like the things which came up for me, I wouldn't have been able to say yes to had we been living normal life. So like I got to do a contract for another company, which I would definitely not have had the chance to do. Um, I got the opportunity to do a magazine spread, which I definitely wouldn't have had the time to do otherwise. Or like, it's not even so much that I wouldn't have had the time, it's just I would have really struggled and it would have been really stressful. Um, so it was nice to like have those things come up and just to be able to um, do them basically and like do them with plenty of time and to do them relaxed and yeah, I'd say that was, and also obviously being able to do my YouTube what have you guys been up to? Are you 
Like, do you feel like you've been productive? Do you feel like you haven't been productive? Like for me, like there's definitely been days when I've been like not doing half the stuff I should be doing. But um, on the whole, I think I've, I feel like I've made the most of it. Right, I've done that eyeshadow now. So I'm just gonna take that shimmery color and I'm gonna put this on top. Oh my God, how pretty is that? Did you just see that? Oh my God, that's so pretty. Oh, that is so nice. I'm now like confused as to why I've not used this colour before. Because it's kind of like, it's not that pigmented. Not that pigmented, but like, when you pick it up, it comes out quite sheer. So it's almost like a topper. Like, you know, like the Charlotte Tilbury pop shades. I feel like this one that I'm putting on now is kind of like the same sort of formula. Like, it's just nice to put on top of another eyeshadow. That is so pretty. I'm gonna be taking the P. Louise Violet Basic and I'm gonna create a liner basically and then I might put a little bit of glitter over the top but let's just see how this goes first because I don't know how pigmented this is gonna come out. Right, let's get this liner on. So I've done the wing quite thick because I think what I'm gonna do is actually stick a little bit of glitter on top of it once it's dried. So I wanted to give myself quite a large area to be able to do that. So I've just got two bags of glitter. I've got a purple and I've got a pink. So I'm not gonna recommend that you do this. So I actually bought these off um, eBay. I bought loads of different colors. They are just a craft glitter. They aren't a cosmetic glitter. If you're gonna be doing this yourself, you need to be using a cosmetic grade glitter because glitter is, it can be obviously dangerous around your eyes. So, you know, with any of my looks, please be careful with glitter. Just you know, be sensible, buy from good places. I mean, I would always recommend the Gypsy Shrine. They do amazing cosmetic glitters and they're very similar to these ones. But today I am just going to be using these. So I've mixed a little bit of those glitters together and then I'm gonna be taking the NYX Glitter Primer and I'm gonna just pop a little bit along where I've just done that liner. And then I'm gonna take the glitter and lay it on top. And hopefully it'll look good. It's looking a little crazy, but I'm not worried. I've got a vision and some of the best makeup works, like this is being completely real and this is what I say to people when they like start doing their makeup and they're like, oh, but it looks gorgeous. It's like sometimes you've just got to grin and bear it and like try and power through and that actually it'll end up looking really good. So let's not panic that it's looking a little cray. Let's just carry on. And for the eyelashes, I'm gonna be using my favorites, which are the Dolly Lashes by JLG Cosmetics. I just love these. And to be quite honest, I'm not sure if this, I will ever use any other lash. I just love them. Right, for foundation, I'm gonna be using the Becca Aquas Luminous, Honestly, what's wrong with me? <laughs> the Becca Aqua Luminous Perfecting Foundation. This is in the shade medium and I'm gonna mix it with a little bit of my L'Oreal True Match in the shade two because I am tanned, but I'm not crazy tanned today. But I'm a little bit tanned, so we can't be using just the L'Oreal True Match on its own. Let's just get that all nice and dabbed in. And then I'm just taking my collection Lasting Perfection and Maybelline Fit Me Concealer under the eye. Again, I know I've said it a few times in my last couple of videos, um, I don't have the right shade of the collection Lasting Perfection right now. I have ordered it, so it should be here in the next few days, but 
Um, this one, as you can see, is much too light. So I'm just taking this first and then using the Maybelline Fit Me just to get the right, exact right shade. And I'm then just setting that with the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Finish Powder. And then I'm going to bronze using a little bit of the MAC Give Me Sun because I've just been loving this at the minute. And I'm going to do a gentle bronze. Such a nice powder this because it's because it's like within the face powder type of collection of MAC, like the mineralized skin finishes. It's just so, it goes on so smooth and so pretty. I feel like you can't go wrong with it. I'm gonna put the lilac in the waterline because I do think that will look really pretty. So I don't know if you can see, but that purple where I've put the P. Louise base in my waterline, it has bled up into my eyes a little bit. So that's what you can see. It doesn't hurt or anything, it's just, um, I just wanted to make you aware of it in case you guys do try this makeup look at home. So I'm just taking that shimmery eyeshadow again from the James Charles palette. I'm just gonna run it underneath my lower lash line. Just to add a bit more definition. And I'm just taking my pinky Anastasia Beverly Hills blush. This is from the Radiant Quad Palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills. And this is in the shade Spoilt. But this is just the most beautiful light pink. And I find that when I do a more purpley look, this blusher just really complements it. Because it makes you look more flushed rather than like too blushed up. I don't know, I like my blush, when I've got a lot of colour going on, I like my blush to be quite light. And then to highlight, I think we need to make it a little bit pinkier, so I'm taking my Anastasia Beverly Hills Sugar Glow Kit, and I'm going to be taking these two shades down here, that is Starburst and Butterscotch, because I just love these two together, because one's more goldy, one's more pink, so it's nice because it gives you that goldy pink what am I talking about? It just gives you that nice gold highlight still, but with a little bit of an iridescent pink in it, which is really nice. So I'm just using the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Tour lip liner. And then I'm going to take Please Me Lipstick by MAC. So mine looks a bit crazy because mine's actually been cut off and then put into a palette for my makeup kit. But there's so much lipstick still in this part that I won't chuck them away just yet. So I just use a lip brush. So this is the finished makeup look. So as always, I'm gonna go away, I'm gonna do my hair, and I'm gonna come back so you can see the whole look put together because I always look a little bit crazy. <laughs> like a bit crazy at the beginning of my videos because my hair is always like <laughs> So yeah, give me two minutes and I'll be all right back. Do -do 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 -do. So in the end, as I was doing my hair and trying to pick an outfit, I decided that this look warranted full festival glam. To be quite honest with you, so obviously this is the makeup. So you can just see it's like the purple glitter liner, so cute, fun and fresh. And then I want to show you like, oh, I'm fighting with the chair. I don't know if you can see my hair, but I've done my hair. Like I feel like the coolest version of myself. Only cool girls have hair like this. So I've done like a messy bun. Um, on top of my hair because I feel like that's what everybody does when they go to a festival. I have personally never been to a festival in my life so I have no idea how people dress. I only see pictures. <laughs> but I feel like this is festival vibes. Don't ask me how this look turned into a festival look. I don't know. And I feel like now 
Like, I know that obviously festivals are an absolute no-go this year, but it doesn't mean we can't be rocking the festival glam. Like, who, if you're having, like, a garden party, like a socially distanced garden party, why not be, like, a fun festival one? I, I mean, it's my birthday. It's not soon, but my birthday is in September, and I feel like I might want a crazy glitter themed festival party now because this is such a vibe. In fact, I might try and show you this whole dress because I've never shown this dress on my YouTube channel before and it's pretty incredible. I'm gonna have to like, I feel like I'm gonna have to kneel down <laughs> for you to get like the full, the full situation of this dress, but you know, it's backless. <laughs> Backless, boobylicious. I'm just holding the fabric there because this is the type of dress which you would need to tape your boobs into. Because if you don't tape your boobs into these, they are going to be slipping everywhere. Um, but yeah. All that dancing and shaking has just made me really hot. <laughs> So I hope you enjoyed seeing me create this glittery purple winged look. Obviously something very different for me. Again, I wanna try and do another video which is completely outside my comfort zone. So any ideas or colors that you want me to include, leave them in the comments and let me know whether you would wear this. Like, would you go out wearing this eye look? Cause I like for sure would like, it's so pretty and girly. So that is the end of today's video. As always guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one and any other video suggestions, leave them in the comments. And if you did enjoy this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up, subscribe down below, and I will look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye.